Hi guys, I'm Vlad Catcher, and this video is about 16 profitable businesses you can start tomorrow. Tomorrow. Now, you can be from home, you can be a high school student, you could be anywhere in the world and start these 16 profitable businesses and make good money. And then I also have for you 10 businesses that I think will not work meaning specifically 10 business ideas that I think will fail you, you should not do them. And before we get into it, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Jimdo.com. They allow you to create a blog, website, or online store in three minutes. Now note, I was hesitant, so I actually, I tried it and I created our website and I did it in four minutes. Uh, <laughs> I created it in four minutes, it was so easy. It just to ask a few questions, just simple questions, and very easy questions. There was no coding, there was no work, there was no plugins. And before, in four minutes, my website was live. Now, I don't mean like it was ready. I mean, my website was online in four minutes. So I highly recommend try uh, Jimdo.com. It's free. It lets you create your website. If you set up your online store, there's even no fee, meaning they chase zero transaction fee. It's a really cool product. So here we go with the 16 profitable business ideas you can start tomorrow. Number one, Design company. You can open your own design company where you sell ads, logos, website design, app design, flyers, brochures. And what I love about this is how easy I think it would be for you to get customers. See, a lot of uh, blogs and videos, they're like, hey, you can start all these businesses. But you can never reach those customers. That means you're never going to make money. All of my list, like this list, you can reach them. You can reach the customers. So for design, let's say you make ads. And I love that ads, I'm talking about uh, actual ads, advertising images for let's say for Facebook or for Google. The reason this is critical is because they all have a, a life. Most ads go, go kind of dry after two weeks. So whenever I start my ad campaign in two weeks, I need to replenish it with a new ad because that audience, I probably would have covered it. Two weeks with a high budget, right? So you can sell ads. You can reach out to a CEO and say, hi, uh, I love your business. Uh, I make really high converting ads. I've made five custom ads for you completely for free. Is it okay if I send it to you and show you? Dude, of course they'll say, yes, yeah, send me those ads. I'll check it out. And then you give them five ads. Give them five ads. If you do this 10 times or 15 times, one of them is going to pay you. Now, I don't know the exact price you could charge, but let's say you charge uh, 10 ads, $25 per ad, 25 times 10. That's $250 for 10 just images, 10 ads you made. And then ads usually like, you know, it'll say like some text, you know, like a little button, some kind of image, high converting ones. So if you get 10 customers in a month, you make two and a half thousand dollars with this selling ads. So you could be anywhere in the world, anywhere. I would recommend pursue companies and sell to companies in the US, UK, Canada, and Western Europe. Uh, and you can be anywhere in the world and make, that's two and a half thousand dollars. If you get 20, that's $5,000 you can make. And you can do this alone with zero employees. Like That's an awesome business. Number two, influencer marketing. So you can offer influencer marketing. And it's very straightforward. You could contact, let's say, 10 YouTube influencers, not giant ones, but mid-level or earlier ones, or Instagram ones, and say, hey, I'll get you sponsorships. If I sell these for you, I keep 30%. Deal? And they'll agree because you're bringing them additional deals. So then you start reaching out again to CEOs of businesses and you say, hey, um, I, I have, let's say, these 15 influencers who are really good for your business. If they talk about your product, you're gonna get more sales. Can I send you more information? And they'll say yes, and then you get them to pay. And then you give the influencer 70%, you keep 30%. And you know, another untapped business in this space is local influencer marketing. I'm even puzzled people aren't doing this as much because you can find local uh, people on Instagram, meaning they just they just post about local stuff. So they have a local following. It's usually not as big, but it's local. So that's very valuable. So then you can re reach out to, let's say, restaurants or some local business. And you can say, hey, I can get my influencers to show up at your store, snap a picture of your meal, and post it to their Instagram. And <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything. I'll take care of everything. Just pay me, let's say, let's say $300 per one, and I'll get five of them to come. So that's $1,500 from five local people who come. But these businesses, they usually want it every week. They want like people talking about them on Instagram. So you can just get people to show up, take a picture of the meal, say, just having my little lunch at this. And you know what's beautiful is you don't even have to frequently pay those influencers as much. Maybe you'll give them 30% of the money or even free. Maybe you'll just give them that free meal or that free haircut. If you're sending them to a barbershop, you have to see. 
but great business opportunity. You can execute this from anywhere, any age, any country. You can make a lot of money with this type of influencer marketing like I described. Number three business you can start, virtual assistant. So every CEO and founder is overwhelmed. Everyone, no matter which founder or CEO you see, they always have way more work than they can do. So you can reach out to CEOs and founders of startups. Let's say you look for the ones that have a little money. So look for startups that are, let's say, seed funded to like series D and start reaching out to these startups and say, hey, uh, I'm, a, I'm a virtual assistant. I would love to help you for free for two days just to show you how much easier your life will be. And you have nothing to lose <laughs> because I'll help you for free. Send me anything your way, I'll help you. Dude, they'll hire you. You do this 10, 15, 20 times, one will hire you full time. And then you can have several of these guys. You can have several people who you're a virtual assistant for, or you can even hire helpers. It can be you and you can hire five helpers who will do this virtual assistant thing. And then the company pays you and they only deal with you. Awesome business. Like it's, you'll make such good money. Number four good business you can start is lead gen. So lead generation, every startup needs more qualified leads. Leads meaning customers will pay them. Find them those leads. Again, reach out to CEOs of companies and say, hey, I studied your business, I studied your company, and I found 15 leads or 20 leads, the exact contact information and everything, how, who I think would be, uh, who would enjoy your product. Is it okay if I send you these? And then we offer the service. I can provide your salespeople these leads all the time. Try this, because we always frequently need leads, uh, right? Quality leads, and if you can provide lists of leads, I'm not talking about big lists. I'm talking about something you do manual, right? So you gotta identify a business to whom like 50 or 100 or 200 leads is very valuable, right? So a smaller number of leads, you're not looking for like 100,000 emails, look for like 100 or 200 very uh, highly targeted leads that they need because then you save them the time of finding it. They'll pay you for this. Number five, blogging. God, you can make such good money blogging, writing. Blogging was one of the key strategies for my company, key strategies to grow my company. And it's always a pain because to write good content, to post good content is hard. So if you reach out to companies and say, hey, even if they have a blog or don't have a blog, you can say, hey, I see you don't have a, a blog for your company yet. Not only would it potentially rank high when people search for this so your target customers will find you, but also you can email this to people who've signed up but didn't pay you yet or to existing customers to have your business in their minds every day. How would you like I, I write for you, let's say three, three free uh, blogs this week, just to see how, how much you like it. And you can get so many customers this way. Like blogging is super valuable and you, you can easily sell this as a service because you can be anywhere in the world at any age and you can research and write these topics. Number six business you can start, Vlogging for companies, vlogging. So that means you'll be creating basically the, the blog version, but in a video. And that's why, because this business then can have a YouTube channel and you can create content for them. You can even put on their shirt, the company shirt, and you can say, hey guys, this video is gonna, I'm gonna teach you about X, Y, Z. And it's a huge pain because editing videos is a pain, uh, creating videos is a pain, filming's a pain, equipment, that whole process is painful. So if you can reach out to companies, who don't have a great YouTube channel, or either they have no channel, or you see they're not posting as frequently, right? So if, why are they not posting every day? Why? It's very valuable. I would for sure do it, you know, like I would for sure do it if the people were good, if they created good content, for sure do it. So start vlogging for companies, because you can do it from your home and they need it. Next number seven business you can start is recruiting company. Recruiting is an awesome business, because you can charge 10% of the candidate's base salary when they get hired and let's say either stay 30 days or get hired. So 10%. So if, then all you do is you source candidates, you speak to them briefly, you can speak to them on the call. Again, you can be anywhere in the world and you could call the candidates via, via you know, you can use Skype or there are other options you can use. You could just call the candidates, filter them and bring them for the interview at that company. And if the company hires them, you make 10%. So if the candidate gets $70,000, you're gonna get $7,000 a month. Hire one person for a company. And guess what? Every company is struggling for talent. 
every company is trying to hire talented folks to work for them. Every. Meaning no matter who the company is, they all need more talent. So this is a recruiting company you could start. Number eight, you can make video ads, explainer videos, or game trailers. This is really an awesome thing. Almost every business could use fresh good videos explaining their new features, right? And these can be animated. These can be animated or you can pitch it, you can determine. Uh, all companies need clever ads, fun ads, and all the apps, they always need game trailers so you can specifically sell, it. create video ads, explainer videos, or game trailers to these companies. Number nine business you can start, you can do video editing services. Again, a great business because video editing, it takes so much time, you know, like to put the text in the video, then they render these videos, it's all kind of nonsense involved with video editing and it takes so much time. So you can even reach out to YouTubers not giant ones because they have teams, but mid-level ones or earlier ones and say, hey, I'd love to edit. I see you posting 10 videos a month. I would love to edit all 10 of your videos. Pay me you know, $300 a month. Because when you get 10 clients like this, you make $3,000 a month. Yes, that's a good money you're making from home, from any country, from any age. Like That's insane. Um, next point is number 10 business you can start. You can be a QA tester. So almost... Almost everyone has a website, and if they iterate, if they build to it, right, if they build things to it, they need QA testers. So you can just be a backup tester. Now, it'll take some trust for you to become kind of critical to their testing, right, because you're somewhere potentially in the world, and if you let a critical bug go, you're going to really mess up their product. So it'll take time, but if you can get into the you know, CEO, start talking to them, say, hey, I would love to test your website. I found these three bugs on your website, can I send you? And then you can say, hey, I'm a tester. I can just sit and test your website all day. And I'll make sure whenever you have a sprint to check your sprint and I'll test your website all day. You can make good money from your home at any age just being a tester, just testing people's websites. Number 11 business you can start, buy wholesale, sell retail. Now, uh, I'm, a, I'm a digital guy. I'm a tech guy. So if you buy wholesale, sell retail, I recommend make sure to have at least 50% margin. Five zero. So if your goods cost you $50, sell it for at least $100. All of my friends I've seen go bankrupt. All of them went bankrupt who did not make 50% margin. So <laughs> this is the one thing held consistent over eight years. Everyone who I've seen go bankrupt, they all did not make 50% margin because the guys who are making at least 50% margin, even when they don't achieve massive success, they make money. So the business never goes out of business because they were making money the whole time. Oh, and I'd like to make a point on this, on buy wholesale, sell retail. I know one guy, uh, I know one, one gentleman, and what he does is he buys expensive, more rare, like medical books, more rare books, medical or something for colleges or for med schools, and he sells them on Amazon. And he buys them in wholesale. He does this. He buys these very expensive, they're more rare. They're not like an everyday purchase. They're more rare books and they're expensive and he sells them on Amazon. He makes about $250,000, $300,000 a year. He has a giant, giant house. Like he lives really well. So this is a case of buy, wholesale, sell, retail and he sells this on Amazon and he buys specifically uh, rare, more rare, expensive books. Not rare meaning you can't find but just meaning it's more rare. The purchase is more rare so he might sit on these books for a year, right? Like he doesn't know if he'll buy it and he might sit on those books for a year, but they make them a lot of money. Uh, number 12 business you can start is a SaaS company. SaaS is a software as a service. So you can start some website that will basically sell uh, some kind of software service, right? Like for example, uh, Slack. Slack is an example of like a SaaS company, right? Software as a service, then you use the, they sell you that chat. Um, number 13, you can start your own YouTube or Instagram channel and sell sponsors your own. I think that's really cool. The key here, this is what you do. So you can start your own YouTube channel, your own Instagram um, channel and sell sponsors. The key is if you have massive traction, meaning a lot of people watching and talking about you, awesome. But that's just very, very hard to do. So as you're starting out, what you need to do is go ultra niche ultra, ultra niche. Go as niche as you can because even if you only have a thousand subscribers or a thousand views, your, your exposure is very little, but you can say, you know what, but these are super, super fans. They're the ultra niche of this niche and then find businesses who are trying to reach those guys and they'll pay you. So this way, you can focus on the 
precise audience. Don't go broad. Go ultra niche and pursue businesses who cater to that audience. That's how you can actually make decent money with your own YouTube channel or Instagram uh, page. 14, you can sell your own, you can start your own online store, right? So you can start your own online store and sell products. Again, my rule for this is it should make at least 50% margin because if it doesn't, all my friends who did below 50% margin went bankrupt because they never made enough money. Uh, next point is number 15 business you can start. Now, number 15 is harder. It's harder to do this. You can offer online chat or customer service for companies. So a lot of companies have websites, but a lot of them don't have live support. But live support helps so much, even if it doesn't solve the problem, but it just kind of gathers the problem and says, hey, we're on it. I understand. This is the problem. Got it. We'll get back to you within 24 hours. Sounds good? Sounds good. You didn't actually solve the problem, but you were a listening kind of a listening year. You were there for the client. You you kind of you held their hand during that moment of help or something, and then you, you told them you understood the problem and you'll get back in a day. So you can sell companies just live chat. You can say, hey, we can set up a chat on your website and I will hand my company or I will handle this for you 24 hours a day. You can even test us to make sure we do proper, but this is really cool. Uh, this is really cool because everyone needs it, right? Like companies will pay for this, especially earlier stage. If you look for earlier, smaller companies, they just don't have the bandwidth. Big companies, they'll have the resources, but smaller and mid-level will not. And the last business that I recommend you start that will make you a lot of money is uh, PPC marketing, <laughs> pay-per-click marketing. So you, if you're good at digital marketing or learn how to do digital marketing, you could sell businesses, Google ads, Facebook ads, uh, you know, retargeting, you can sell them um, all, all kind of ads, advertising, and you can offer this thing because it's a constant pain. This is a constant problem because you always have to optimize it. Ads always like go out, meaning like when we set an ad and let's say we put a budget of $1,000 per day, that ad, that image will, will die off after two weeks. It'll no longer perform. So you need a new image, you have to again start it and optimize it, different images, it sucks. So you can offer uh, digital marketing for companies because they all need it. Now those are the 16 profitable businesses you can start. Now I'd like to go over the 10 businesses that I think will fail you. One, online courses. Don't sell online courses unless you're famous or an exceptional digital marketer because it's just so hard to get people to pay for these courses. Number two, ebooks. I think it'll be very difficult to bring the traffic, to bring that traffic who pay for your ebook. So unless again, you're an exceptional digital marketer or if you have a fan base already, it'll be hard for you to sell it. Coaching. <laughs> I swear they list this stuff. Like they're like, hey, you could do coaching. No, you cannot. You cannot do coaching. Nobody's gonna pay you for coaching unless you're a millionaire. If you're a millionaire or you're like famous or something, it's gonna be very difficult to sell coaching. Tutoring, number four business I recommend, don't start. Don't do tutoring unless you're like in a college or have very easy access to people who need the tutoring. Because how are you gonna acquire the customers? Like, I want you to make money. I want you to make a lot of money. And tutoring, if, you have to, if you're not at the college, it's just very difficult to bring a lot of customers to make meaningful money. Number five business you should not start. Translation. I mean, you can use Google to translate things for you for free. Or I mean, not paid, but it's so little that it's almost free. So don't offer translation services. Number six, creating random smartphone apps. Meaning if you're just building random apps without thinking exactly how to bring my users and your app making meaningful money, don't build those type of apps. Number seven, course publishing. That's again part of the, my courses, part of my online courses or offering courses, but I recommend don't do courses unless you have exceptional acquisition or you have that type of validity in the market or you have that fan base already. And the last point that I recommend not building is social media management companies. It's nothing. In a sense, every company in the world can post to compose to social and, and there's nothing there, right? Like everyone can post to social. There's just no pain point unless you say, hey, I can scale your business so much because of my strategies, you're gonna make a lot more money. So those are my eight businesses you should not start. And now I have my suspect list. <laughs> my suspect is just two, two businesses you, I don't know much success about. Two businesses in my suspect list. One is drop shipping. Now, I've been in business for eight years. I've met so many exceptional people. I've just never met anyone who's successful to make meaningful money in drop shipping. Nobody. 
That doesn't mean it's not real. It's just I've never met anyone. My friends have never met anyone who they've mentioned to me. So I recommend stay away from drop shipping just because it's on my suspect list. And my number 10 business, not to start again, on my suspect list, not necessarily don't start, but suspect is affiliate marketing. I think it's hard. If you're a great affiliate marketer, you're probably a great marketer. If you're a great marketer, I think you can make better money than affiliate marketing. You can even sell the marketing service to businesses and make more money. So those are my 10 businesses that I think will fail you. Uh, We've covered the 16 businesses I think will make you a lot of money. And again, this video is sponsored by Jimdo.com. They help you create a blog, a website, or an online store in three minutes. And I tested it myself and my website was live in four minutes. It was literally the easiest thing to do. I'm very impatient. I won't do any plugins. I won't answer a lot of questions. Like I'm, I'm a hard customer to get. And I actually set it up and it was live online in four minutes. It's an awesome tool. It's, it's, uh, you can have a completely free version, meaning never pay. Uh, and everyone needs a blog, everyone needs a website, to where I highly recommend try jimdo.com if you're looking to create it, because in, in just four minutes, you can have your website live online. Awesome tool. And I'd like to end this with a quote, and the quote is, the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. And that's because you're gonna have to put in the time, you're gonna have to put in the work, so the, let the dreaming up to the dreamers. Let's actually start doing stuff. This channel is all about entrepreneurship. If you enjoy learning about entrepreneurship, subscribe to this channel. I also have an exclusive uh, VIP newsletter that I send every day. It's on my website, vladcatcher.com. Subscribe to it, go to vladcatcher.com or check out a link in the description. And thanks for watching.